Next question is from Linzeman. Am I too old to get into powerlifting? Nope. Next question. <laughs> you know, training for um, maximal strength, uh, there's a higher – anytime you're training for maximum performance in any category, there's a higher risk of injury. But if you do it right, uh, powerlifting can be appropriate for anybody, regardless of age. It depends on the individual. Well, I do want to know how old this individual is, just out of curiosity. Because, I mean, I've I've taught somebody with like that was like 60 years old how to basically – do those types of compound lifts that that are in our powerlifting program, but not necessarily like maxing out or like it's just really learning the technique of it first. And uh, I think that's beneficial for any age. Uh, it's just all a matter of application. Well, look how old Doug is. Doug does powerlifting moves, you know, so all the time. So <laughs> there's an example right there of someone older than dirt that actually. Oh does my gosh! Wow. So, yeah. so yeah. no, I, I, still and, getting gains. Well, I think I think too when we hear powerlifting, I think people just assume that it has to be. Be like you know five, competition yeah, yeah competition 500 700 pounds like you could be lifting 100 pounds and that could be a uh, power lifting for you you know so it doesn't necessarily mean uh you, you do what is 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 a heavy load for you and and train some of the base they're just the core lifts right that you're focusing on improving i think it has a tremendous amount of value in fact i wish uh i wish i understood power lifting principles at a younger age and would have gotten into it earlier because i think that had I done that early, it would have probably carried over into my, you know, the, my aesthetics and building yeah. muscle uh, later on that I cared more about. The prerequisites definitely apply. I mean, like if you if you build your way up, to, it's 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 at it's at a higher tier in terms of like uh, like what you're going to try and like set a goal to get to. Uh, is, is how I would look at it if you're you know getting up there in age. But do you guys remember that little old lady that was the power lifter that like uh, had a home invasion and then threw the guy down? Oh. Oh, yeah. And then, like, pinned him and the cops came. Like, yeah. like shit like that. Like, I just love to see that. And I love to see, you know, people that uh, are still after it and really, you know, like, challenging themselves physically and, and what that can still provide. Well, one of the best ways for you to preserve muscle as you get older would be training this way. Ab absolutely. I So I trained a lot of people in advanced age. And, the, and when it was appropriate, I trained them. I would go through phases of heavy strength training, three reps, four reps. I would even do singles when it was appropriate. Here's the thing. Training a particular way, there are prerequisites that determine whether or not it's appropriate. Age only only is a factor because it could potentially contribute to the other prerequisites. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, you need to have a certain amount of mobility and stability before I'm going to train you uh, with heavy loads. Um, can age influence that? It can, but age by itself doesn't matter. You know, I can train somebody, and I have, train somebody who's in their 70s, who has excellent stability and mobility, um, who I would train heavy all the time. My old client, Jim, who actually helped Doug and I film the first MAPS anabolic program, we used to do singles and doubles and triples all the time. He was in his 70s, extremely fit, extremely strong, a, a tremendous amount of muscle on his on his body, and he was a, a, what you would consider an ectomorph. I mean, the guy got his testosterone levels checked, and he was always in the six to 700 range, um, and it was just appropriate. So- Powerlifting is appropriate when it's appropriate. Well, it's also the yeah. other end of the spectrum is true too. Like I've had clients that I've trained that are 25 years old that have no business powerlifting because right. they have incredibly ter terrible posture. They have no stability and they just don't have good mechanics. So they're not somebody who I would want to load, you know, a squat, a deadlift, an overhead press or a, a chest press really, really heavy until I addressed all those things. So you're right. Age doesn't really have anything to do with it. It really depends on where, you, where you're currently at in your, in your fitness in, career. In the old old adage, you, you use it or you lose it, is very, very true. What does that mean? That means if you stop practicing something or you stop doing something, you lose the ability to do that. Um, so, you know, in an extreme example, if you were to lay in bed for the next 10 or 15 years, your ability to walk would probably uh, be gone or it would be significantly hampered. You would, you would have a very tough time getting up and walking after laying in bed that long. If as you get older... If you lose the ability to exert, you know, strength through a, you know, maximal strength, right? You lose the ability to lift a heavy load for two or three reps. Um, you'll lose it because you don't practice it. Could that be a skill that's valuable to somebody in that age group? Absolutely. You know, if you want to remain independent through old age, that means that, you know, you may need to move the couch on your own or the kitchen table or a chair or lift heavy, heavy groceries. 
So this is a skill you don't want to lose. You just got to be careful and you got to do it uh, the right way. But if it's done properly, and here's the wonderful thing about resistance training. If it's done properly and if it's appropriate, it's always a good idea. If those two things are met, then it's always a good idea, regardless of age. 